Today we're going to be rebuilding the 2002 Wizards to try and win Michael Jordan one last NBA championship. Now the issue with this Wizards team is most definitely the supporting cast. This team quite frankly just isn't very good. But I have a plan that is going to be special. Let me tell y'all. So Michael Jordan he could end up retiring after the season right? But I can override his retirement. So what I'm going to do is have this season be a tank year, right? Where we go out, we lose a lot of basketball games, and we try to get a top pick in the draft. Now, why would I do that? Because I want to draft LeBron James onto this roster to play with Michael Jordan in his rookie season and both of them to go out there and win a championship. I'm not going to bore y'all with this part though. I'm going to go ahead and trade away pretty much all the vets on this team and get as many picks as possible and I'll come back to y'all. I'll show y'all the haul of all the picks that we got. All right, so I went out there and I got as many picks as possible, meaning our team is absolutely trash. But let me show y'all the haul of picks. Oh my goodness, bro. It's about to be crazy this offseason. Now, we've also got to bring back Mike in free agency, so I'll be sure to do that. And then we're going to draft LeBron before we bring back Mike, of course. It's going to be crazy, man. I'm super hyped. Let me tell y'all, bro, I, I was having a heck of a time trying to set everything up this morning. I, I don't know what was going on, but I my brain was just not working the way it was supposed to. I was trying to turn on the PS5, right, to get everything started, start making this video. And for some reason, okay, so I have my recording software, right, my Elgato. I didn't have that connected to my laptop so what that means is essentially I can't see the display but that wasn't computing in my mind so I thought my PlayStation was just broken anyway y'all probably don't care did y'all see the Lakers lost by like 800 points last night that was pretty crazy also we're approaching a thousand subscribers on this channel I'm hoping we can hit it within like maybe today I, I don't know we'll see how it goes I haven't dropped a video in a couple days that's my bad the only reason for that is I've just been busy I've had a lot of schoolwork and stuff I've still been trying to push out the main channel videos but the second channel took a backseat for a little bit now soon I'll be on winter break and then I'll really be able to lock in and I should be having way more of these rebuild videos coming out to y'all more consistently. The team did their job beautifully. We were absolutely terrible, man. That's exactly what I wanted. Shout out to Mike making all NBA third team. He averaged almost 30. That's ridiculous. But he says he wants to retire. But we, we've got a new fl news flash for you, buddy. You're most definitely going to be coming back to the squad just one more year so you can play alongside my glorious king and everything will be great. All right. Time for the draft lottery. Now, in this draft lottery, we could have multiple picks because I made some trades. Yep, we got a Memphis pick that I traded for from the Pistons. I believe that was the pick that landed in second in real life whenever the Pistons picked Darko. We end up landing at two and five, so that's solid. But of course, to draft LeBron James, we're going to need number one. And we definitely have the means to move up in the draft. Trust me, bro. We got a ton of picks to work with here that we can use to maneuver in the draft. So let's get Miami on the phone. We're going to be drafting LeBron James. So I'm thinking I might offer them like 2 and 14 and see where that goes. They still say no, which I kind of expected. I'll throw in Kwame Brown. Oh my goodness, never mind. I might have to hold on for hold on to Kwame for another trade because apparently he's got crazy value. Let's see if they take this offer. They still say no. I'll give you all the 20th pick as well. They still say no. So they really value this pick and rightfully so. They'll have the chance to draft LeBron, but we do end up getting that number one overall pick. So let's go ahead and draft Bron. All right, great. LeBron James is now on the team. And then at five, we could get Chris Kamen. Uh, I'm kind of good on that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Let's throw Kwame in the fifth pick in the trade finder. Oh, I thought we were about to get offered some generational trades. Turns out nobody wanted our trade package. We could go get Sam Cassell. I mean, he's 33. I don't know about that. Uh, I would like like a player who's a solid role player on a cheaper contract so that way we, we don't have to take on too much salary. But maybe I'll just go ahead and get these two first and then we can think about what we want to do later down the line. All right, so the draft is done. We got LeBron James. First step of my championship blueprint is done with. Now we got to worry about free agency and this is where we're really going to have to go crazy. We got a lot of cap space. We're going to, of course, have to use some of that 
on Michael Jordan. We'll offer him a play. We'll offer him a no trade clause, and it looks like he will come back. Nobody else was even giving him real offers. That's disrespect to the goat. Now we're gonna. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't think he's the goat, but <laughs> you know, you everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I mean, you're wrong if you think he's the goat, but but <laughs> nah, I'm messing with y'all. But I think that the longevity that LeBron has shown is crazy, and people should really have a lot more respect for that. Even people who might be bigger Michael Jordan fans, you know what? It's fine if you think Mike's better, but I think people can't ignore the longevity that LeBron has had and the fact that he's in year 21 and a lot of people are still judging every every move Bron makes out there in his career under a microscope is crazy to me and that kind of shows the level that LeBron James has reached. So we're going to go get Gilbert Arenas to play alongside Michael Jordan. And after signing Gilbert, we're low-key close to having enough money to bring in another player. But in order to do that, we might have to trade the ba the basketball legend Kwame Brown, which would be absolutely tragic. We could get Matt Harpering. I mean, uh, I'm kind of good on that. I'm trying to find a trade that I really like here. I mean, he, he's not bad, though. Don't get me wrong. He's an 84. He could really play for us. I mean, Bron is kind of our small forward, though. So maybe we hold off on that. There was Nene in the trade finder as well. Maybe if I throw some first with Kwame Brown, we could get somebody better. We could get Mike Bibby, who's on a three-year contract, solid point guard. But again, we just signed Gilbert Arenas. Why don't I try and put my own trade together for some superstar around the league? Let me let me think on who I want. Yeah, this low-key might be the move. We could go get Ben Wallace, and it seems like the Pistons don't value him too, too crazy. I mean, the value between him and Kwame is almost equal, which is an absolute disgrace, let's be honest. We'll trade Lakers. Oh, we got to keep Darvin Ham around, actually. We got to have Bron's coach here for the championship. I'll throw y'all our 2004 first. It's got a lot of value. What do y'all think about that? They say no. I'll throw in maybe a Warriors first. They still say no. Okay, so they want Ben Wallace on their team for sure. They value him crazy. But if I fill this whole trade with first, maybe they'll change their mind and they will. Okay, so we just made a blockbuster trade. We got Ben Wallace on the team. Now we need a solid starting power forward to really sure up this starting five around Michael Jordan. And it looks like Clifford Robinson could be that guy. He's kind of old though. Uh, why don't we go ahead and go after old reliable? We'll go get Earl Jenkins. All right, we just secured Earl Jenkins on the team. Now we kind of need some bench depth. Maybe somebody who can come and play for us for cheap. Clifford Robinson could be an option. My only concern is he's kind of old, so I'm worried about that regression hitting. Now James Posey, he could be an option for us for sure. We could sign him to be like a backup small forward for us. And then the rest is going to kind of have to be minimums. Maybe we could go after some of these G League guys. We could go get George Brooks, I guess. I mean, we could offer, oh no, we can't really afford J.R. Bremer because I want to go ahead and get that other guy we offered. I forgot who it was, some small forward, but hopefully we land him. Regardless, it's going to be okay, man. We've got Bron, we've got Mike, and if anything's going wrong, I'll try to make some trades to improve the squad. Now, here's what the team's looking like. I did remember, or I wasn't really thinking that Michael Jordan was going to regress, so that's going to hurt a bit. Gilbert Arenas does go up. LeBron's here at an 84. I, I don't know, man. This team might be trash. We'll see how it goes. 2K is really going to hit me with the update required mid-video, but you know what it is what it is. Right now, we're the three seed. We're close to being number one, and also the reason we might not be the best team is because of this, like, weird division rules or whatever but regardless I would like us to be a little bit better I want us to be far and away the front runners in our conference now Gilbert Arenas he's an absolute dog in 2k man he's putting up great numbers right but if I could trade him for somebody who's in the 90s I might be down to do that now that doesn't seem to be an option so I won't go out there and do that but I, I was just thinking out loud you know seeing what we could do to improve this team now maybe an option could be going out there and trade him for some more bench depth. We got some picks to work with here, so maybe there's a possibility somebody will give us like some better players to come off our bench. I mean, even like somebody who's like a 79 would be really solid. Kurt Thomas, sure. Backup center, 79 overall. That works. That actually really helps for our depth. Okay, great. So now we got a better backup five. 
why don't we try and go get a better backup point guard backup pg very important position we need somebody who can set it up perfect bobby jackson 81 overall beautiful now he's on our team okay we got our backup one we got our backup five now we're gonna need a maybe a backup wing player backup small forward that would work pretty well so let's see if anybody's gonna offer me somebody good we could get Eddie House. That's not too bad. Anybody better available doesn't really look like it. So we're going to go get Eddie House for the team. Now, Eddie House, he's a two guard, which is fine. We needed a two guard. But now I'm thinking, who's going to be our starting power forward? We don't really have one of those anymore. We could move Ben Wallace over to the four at six foot nine. That should be fine. Now let's see what the rotation is looking like. We got Bobby Jackson, James Posey coming off the bench. We've also got Eddie House. I think that the final two positions we're going to need off of our bench is probably like a backup. Oh, we're going to need a backup center for sure. And then maybe like a backup four. I think those are the two positions that we're going to need right now. So we don't really have many players who we can trade right now, but hopefully we can make the most out of what we have and try and do something. I mean, like Birdman, I guess. We could go get Birdman to run some backup five. Maybe if I trade Birdman and this other dude and a second, we could get a better backup center. Oh, actually we can. We can go get Brandon Haywood. I'm fine with him being our backup five. That works. Okay. And then we could do, okay, yeah, we can trade Mike James, right? Yeah, we have enough point guards. So we could trade Mike James and then also, um, yeah, we can trade Mike James and then we'll go ahead and see if we can get like a decent backup for, I mean, Gerald Wallace, he's a three, but maybe we could slide him over to the four. He's a solid young player. Maybe he could have some value if he can't play the four, we could try and trade him. Let's see. Maybe James Posey can run the forward. No, he can't. Now can our guy. Where is he? Where is he at, man? Uh, Gerald Wallace, he goes down one. So let me see if I can trade Gerald Wallace for a better power forward. You all see how sometimes building out your rotation in 2K can be a little bit tedious, but it's definitely a valuable thing to go out there and do. So we'll just go ahead and slide Gerald Wallace over to the power forward position. And now let me go apply your glorious update, 2K. All right, bro, we're back in here. The rotation, I think, is pretty much shored up. We've got the right players at the right positions. We've got our stars in Mike, LeBron, Gilbert Arenas, Ben Wallace to hold down the defense. Overall, team looks good. I don't think I'm going to make any more moves. So let's see if we can win Mike this NBA championship. Hey man, I went out there and I cooked with the midseason trades because now we're the number one seed. We're going to be really good going into the playoffs. I'm super excited for the Mike and LeBron duo. Shout out to T Mac winning MVP. Who won Rookie of the Year? Oh, D Wade. That's okay because Bron was really contributing to winning basketball out there. So that's really what matters. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get into it, though. We're the number one seed in the East, far and away the best team. Ended off the year on a four-game win streak. Now checking out the stats from the team. LeBron leading the way in his rookie season. He was snubbed from rookie of the year. Come on now. Mike did his thing. He was really solid. Kurt Thomas was actually really good for us, so shout out to him. And Ben Wallace, he's not a guy who's going to go out there and score a lot, but he rebounded the ball, he got steals, he got blocks. He was a great glue guy for our team. Round number one, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers, and we are going to game seven against the Cavs. Who do they even have? If we lose to this team, I I'm going to start to think that 2K just really doesn't mess with me, man, because there is no reason we should be in a game seven against this Cavs team. They're absolutely terrible. So hopefully we can finish the job and it looks like we're going to just barely get out of there in game seven. Shout out to the guys. Brian came through. Now we're moving on to round number two. We got Milwaukee and we're down three to zero. We're going to take game four. We're going to take game five. All right. Pivotal game six here. Let's see if we can force seven, pull off a 3-0 comeback. Man, I thought this was going to be way easier. It looks like this game is definitely going our way. So we will be able to force game seven, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. I thought with the team I assembled, we were just going to be able to run through the playoffs, but I was most definitely wrong. 
Now we've got game seven. Come on. We've made it all the way here. We're so close to finishing this comeback. And it looks like we're going to finish the job. Oh, man. We pull off a 3-0 to zero comeback. Shout out to Bobby Jackson. Big game Bobby. 30 points in this one. And we're moving on to the conference finals against the MVP, Tracy McGrady, and the Orlando Magic. See, the problem with the Magic is they're a one-man team. All they have is T-Mac. Michael Jordan's locking that up, too. Come on, now. Game number one of the series is going to go to us. Game two goes to the Magic. Game three, also going to go to us. We're up 3-1 to one in the series. Come on, man. We're moving on to the finals, and we're taking on Sacramento. I mean, they got Chris Webber and Mike Bibby. Asia, but we got Braun and MJ. Game number one's gonna go to us. Game two's gonna go to us. Game three will go to the Kings. Game four also goes to the Kings. We're all tied up headed into game five. We need this one. Come on, y'all. This rebuild means a lot to me. I've had a lot of fun doing this one, so I would love if my guys could finish the job. And it looks like we're gonna get out of there. We do a game five win, and we're one game away from an NBA championship with MJ and Braun. Alright bro, it's coming down to the wire in the fourth quarter, y'all know it wouldn't be a second channel video without me potentially selling the game in game 7. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm gonna throw the difficulty on All Star and we're gonna see what I can do. Alright, here we go man, let's go ahead and give it in to Gilbert Arenas. I think I'm gonna be able to cook with Gilbert, oh my goodness, look at him move. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah right up over him, let's go, let's go, I'm locked, I'm locked. All right, great start. Now we just need to put together a stop or something, and we'll really be in business. Mike Bibby has the basketball. Man, we're not worried about Mike. Come on, lockdown. No, get over the screen. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, Mike Bibby blew by, and he got the mid-range, but he missed. Now throw it up to the point guard. There we go. There we go. You know what? Should we pull? Should we pull? Why? Is that Bobby Jackson? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's chill out. Where is Brown and MJ? Hold on. Are, are they actually fouled out the game, or have they just not subbed in yet? Let's see. No, they're not fouled out. Uh, I, all right, we're, we're just going to rock out with who, the, who we have. All right, here we go. Gilbert Arenas. You know what? We're pulling. Gilly's got range, bro. Oh, my goodness. I'm trash. I'm trash, bro. What a terrible shot. How do I do subs on this? I don't know how to control this real. All right, there we go. They went ahead and did it for me. Shout out to them. Man, Gilbert Arenas, that, that was a tough air ball. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But it is what it is, I guess. I thought that Gilbert really had range like that, but I, I was most definitely mistaken. Let's go ahead and lock up on Mike Bibby. Yep, good defense. Oh, no, not good defense. Not good defense. I'm selling. I'm selling right now. That's my bad. All right, let's give it into Michael Jordan. I'll probably swing it to LeBron. I feel like even rookie Bron should be able to. Oh, oh, yeah, this is what he was going to be able to do. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, I was going to say, LeBron definitely has the athleticism advantage, even in his rookie season. So that's what I really want to get to here. I want to use his abilities to my advantage. All right, come on, Ben. We need some lockdown defense. Yeah, Chris, you can't move Ben Wallace. Come on now. Good defense. There we go. Bro, come on. Now Mike Bibby wants to turn on his zen in game six with a chance for us to win a championship. All right, let's give it to Mike. It's only right. We got to score a bucket with Mike. All right, fade away mid-range, Jay. Oh, man, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Oh, no. It might be over. It might be over. All right, let's stop Chris Webber here. No, Paige is just walking in like it's a layup line, bro. Oh, no. What, what do they say? Gosh, golly, Miss Molly, we're getting cooked. All right, Paige, get out my way. Get out my way. King James, layup. Let's go. All right, we're within one point here. We just got to get a stop. I'm going for the steal. I'm cheesing. I'm trying to cheese for the steal. All right, all right, we're going to have to foul. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to be okay. I hate that animation whenever they intentionally foul. Somebody's like shoving them off. Regardless, Mike Bibby steps up to the line. First free throw is good. Now, I'm going to try to go for a quick two. I know my game. I know I'm not great at shooting threes on this. So, I, I might just have to go for a quick two. Bron's been the king of getting quick twos. Let me just get to the basket. Move, Peja. Easy lay. All right. Now, we just got to bank on them missing a free throw. Then, I'll go for another quick two. All right. That, that's going to be the plan. We'll foul Mike Bibby. Now, Mike Bibby's been hot in this game. So, I'm not confident in his ability to miss a free throw. But, we'll see how it goes. First one for Money Mike is good. Second one for Mike is also good. We might have to go for a three. Man, I might have to retire from playing these games, bro, because I just keep selling our team. We were in a good spot whenever I hopped in, and then, I mean, you know, 
my, my gameplay happened and we just kind of started getting cooked. You know what? We're pulling though. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Who said that? They didn't believe in me. They didn't believe in me. They should have believed in me. That's a big shot. All right. We just need to stop here and we're good to go. I airballed the last three with Gilbert Arenas, but I got that dog in me. I didn't let that deter me. I came right back, hit a big shot. All right, all right, all right. Let's just get this stop and we should be in business. Okay, it's going to go into Doug Christie over to Mike Bibby. Bibby, yep, yep. Good defense. That's locks. Mike Bibby's having a big game, but we're going to try and stop him here. Doug Christie down to Chris Weber. Oh, we want these. We want these. Ben Wallace. No way he scores on Ben Wallace, dog. No way. All right, all right. All right, it's fine. Throw it up to Braun. 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 Catch the ball. Three on the way. No. No. I botched the release. It was a decent look. If bro would have ca caught the ball a little bit better, we might have been in a better spot, but we lost. Man, Mike, baby, I, I don't know how you're so good at basketball, but that really annoys me. All right, we lost. We're headed to game seven. Come on, man. We need this game seven. I can't blow a game on the count of my, my pathetic gameplay once again. We need this one. Come on, Washington. Lock in. Lock in, bro. We, we need to start coming back. We're down. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got to do it again. You know what? That's a loser mentality to come in with. I can't be scared hopping into these games. I got to lock in. You know what? Give it to the GOAT. We got the GOAT on our team. Give it to Michael Jordan. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mid-range, Jay. Mid-range. That's good. Oh, that's because I forgot to change the sliders. All right. You know what? That, that's just a little freebie. I have the sliders on something crazy for whenever I'm, like, doing my thumbnails. So, basically, like, every shot goes in. The reason I do that is so, like, um... You know, it's easy to make shots, and you know how the players get all hyped and stuff. It makes for good thumbnail screenshots. Anyway, y'all probably don't care. Is that Scott Pollard? Oh, yeah, we're locking that up. Down to, okay, why is why is Gilbert? Oh, he stepped out. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, man, Chris Webber stepped out. I was like, why is Gilbert Arenas guarding Chris Webber? But apparently, it was all part of the plan, and it worked out. All right, let's swing the rock over to LeBron. LeBron, you kind of sold me last time, but I'm still going to trust you. Yeah, Peja, yeah, you can't guard the king. That's an easy two. Brush him off. Brush him off, Bron. He really can't guard you. Now we just got to get a stop. We got a stop last turn, but I feel like that was kind of lucky because Chris Webber, like, stepped out of bounds. All right, let, let's get another stop, though. Ben Wallace, you kind of disappointed me when Chris Webber scored over you last time. But there we go. That's a stop. I see Bron running. Oh, no, we turned it over. Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed. All right, great, great, great. I see Bron running. Bro, bro, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm trying to pass it to LeBron, and it presses the wrong button. Or maybe I press the wrong button. But you get what I'm saying. Give it over to the king. Oh, man, Peja, you didn't learn last time. Uh uh, pump fake, lay. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Here we go, man. I'm about to fold. Shout out Paul George in the clutch. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Lock up. Lock up on Bibby. Lock up on Bibby. We can't let him score here. Oh, I'm so locked in right now, bro. Come on. Kurt Thomas, we need a stop. Yep, yep. That's great defense. What am I supposed to do? Man, 2K is really going to make me start raging. Gilbert Arenas, you know what? We're pulling. We're pulling. We're pulling. We're pulling. My Zen isn't working. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really blew the championship, bro. I should have just hopped in and watched. You know what? From now on, I might just start hopping in and watching. It's clear that playing the game is not my forte. It, it, it's not going well whenever I hop in these games. Mike Bibby, please, miss. Please, miss. Just give us a chance, Mike. Come on, miss one for me, Mike. Bro, he's automatic from the line. We low-key got to go for three. So you know what, Gilbert? I'm trusting you right here. We're shooting a leaner. We're shooting a leaner. That's a good look. No, LeBron, big rebound. Right, right back up. All right, all right, man. That was actually a good look on the leaner, too. I wish that would have gone in, man. Now Mike Bibby's going back to the line. We already know what's about to happen when Mike steps up. First free throw is good. Yeah, 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 Mike. You're really good at basketball. Second one, of course, is also good. So the two didn't really do anything for us, for real. All right, come on, man. We got to pass in this ball, and we got to get it to Gilbert. He's our best three-point shooter. We're going for three. Come on. Come on, that's green. That's green. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, if we could get a missed free throw, it would be huge. But even if we don't, there's still a chance. Okay. Doug Christie, I think he's a good free throw shooter. So I'm not, I mean, he's 25% from the field, only two points in this game. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to think that he's going to miss this. I'm, I'm going to just say he's making both of these and he does. All right. 
That's fine. We got no timeouts left. Chance to force overtime. Come on, Gilbert. Come on. We need it. We need it. We need it. We need it. No. No. Oh, my goodness, man. Oh, my goodness. I might really be the worst player in 2K history. Oh, my goodness. No, man. No. Game 7 of the finals. I, I can't hit a shot, bro. Oh, okay. We got bailed by a missed free throw. Give it up to Gilbert. We're just going to have to shoot it. We're just going to have to shoot it. I shot it from deep. That's still green, though. All right, all right. Oh, there's only 0.8 left. You've got to be kidding me. You know what? Y'all can call me a cheater, man, but but what I'm about to do, you, you know, just don't try this at home, but I, I'm a little sore loser, so, so we're just going to do it. Oh, oh, man, I accidentally took control of the Sacramento Kings. How, how do I pass in the ball? Which button do I press? Uh-oh, I, I can't pass it in. Oh, man, I guess the Wizards get the ball. Let me switch back over. <laughs> nah, bro, I, I just want to give myself one last chance at winning this game. We're going to throw it in to Michael Jordan for the game-winning buzzer beater to win the championship. MJ, oh, yeah, y'all forgot. I'm trash. All right, that's it for the video because Michael Jordan, I'm already knowing he's going to retire after this, right? I I'm going to see the contract thought because maybe there's a chance we can run it back another year if he says he's not going to retire, but he's probably going to retire. Where do I even see it? I I'm not even good at finding where the retirement thought is. Man, Gilbert, get out the championship celebration. It isn't your championship. We lost, man. Man, Michael Jordan was nowhere to be found. 5 for 16 is ridiculous, and we lost, we lost, we lost. And I'm guessing, like I said, Michael Jordan is probably going to retire. He's going to leave the game. So, we're, yep, that's where we're going to have to wrap it up. I sold. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.